think I'll even remotely try to put on my best Irish accent. All right, I'll get some light on the subject here. Why? Actually, I have Irish heritage, you know, I wouldn't even know. Squat about the place. But anyways, hey, you're not Irish. A lot of tourists go there, hey, you're not Irish. <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, okay, um, now. Let's have a look here. You know, for what they are, they're not bad. There's a little, this one here, I find a bit of hairline cracking in there. True. Uh, for what they are, see, I don't want to, I've got a few old school ones here. So I, uh, I don't want to chuck in. I think that, um, yes, for the price and what they are, I mean, they, um, I reckon they'll be nice to, that's just grain. In there, from what I can tell, yeah, that's just grain. Could do a bit of a clean up little file there, I guess. They're not so bad. Um, an old school unit there ain't so bad either. Yeah, that's all right. So, yeah, one of them I recall that uh, on the video I just we both just had a look at. Um, uh, one of them needed to. Needed to have a, uh, I reckon, a bit of a filing and um, to open it up for one of these blades. Oh, there's this, um, there's this old school one here too. Yeah, what have we got going there? Oh, it looks like the, the mushies might have got to it a bit over the years. But uh, I reckon, yeah, for what they are and the price and all this other stuff. Um, so I could, I've got a box of all kinds of old goodies around here, but I, kinds of saws and bits and pieces. i just, um, I've already figured out the weight to measure. I don't think I can get much more of it anyway. Um, get any of this stuff in there. But, I, I reckon, for what they are, they'll clean up, they'll lick up real good if you want to work on them. Plus this old school, yeah, the old school box right there, yeah. Uh, yes. Let's say yes, right. Um, yes. I reckon they're a pretty good unit. Take a long time to get to you. But, good unit indeed. Alright, I'll whack all that back together then. I'll, I don't know, chuck it up in the Indiana Jones last scene warehouse thing if I can stay there or oh, I'll send them to you <laughs> all right I'm gonna get on to something else yeah gee, I reckon this will just lick up real good hmm. okay cookie and yeah, the blades are blades are rad they'll lick up real good if you want to do wanted to do so look up and clean up the kanjis and all that yes all right yeah this one here's a Rad old school. Yeah, that. That's been around a while. I like that. Okie cokey. Yeah, I think I might have had another one in this. I took one. I'm sure, I took one. And I went to do a bit of work on something a while back. Ah, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get back to some stuff. Alright, soldier on. If you smell what the rock is cooking, what's that? What would the rock say to Triple H? The rock would say, Why are you so angry? Well, I tells ya. Had to go old WWE on this bloody thing. I <laughs> sold something overnight. Some, someone that's interested. In Buddhist stuff um, on Etsy there, and uh, yeah, I had, to, I had to wrestle with this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, right, what box am I gonna find to make this happen? <laughs> so, um, grab this old thing. Don't worry, it wasn't made there. This the thing's Japanese, all right. And, uh, but God, <laughs> I had to fight with this one, mate. I'll, uh, I'll send you the the. Um, I'll send you the uh, linky thing to this video to show ya. Um, Okie Koki. Uh, 
yeah, it's going to take a long time to get to you and all that. Uh, yeah, I had to sort of work with um, size restrictions. So if I grab, say, this box here, or this one here, I'm going to figure this out. Is it even going to work? And I just got to go with the flow with some magic. And oh, what? Well, I just shut up. I'll get on with it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So we have, like, we have a Sunday. Oh, God. What? Gods, it's, oh my gods, it's <laughs> salty cracker. Uh, four in the arvo on a Sunday. <laughs> there you go. So that, that's what I do. It ain't all fun, you know. Right then. Now, um, got to write some details down for that. I hope to get that out in the mail on the morrow. Um, and got to write down a whole bunch of bulldust and print out all this bulldust these days and make that happen. But all right, welcome. And uh, oh, I got picked up another subscriber. How's that? <laughs> so I've I'm back to my max out. I think it was three hundred and seventy-nine. But some um, some smarty pants, kooky kookies, or <laughs> when I, I wrote a movie uh, uh, um, to my three hundred and seventy-seven Ronin, and two of them just. <laughs> <laughs> they booked it, <laughs> but they came back, uh, or oh, maybe or someone else, I don't know. Now, um, I'm juiced up on coffee, and not enough food, okie cokey. Now, I'm going to, uh, that's enough for packing, I might, yes, right, um, yes, um, uh, let's see now, Hotei-san, he's going out on the morrow too, he's in the rig, and I was looking in my uh, things over here. Oh, I think I'm going to list him too. I was looking in my things over here when I was um, wondering if that was that whole day. And I thought, I'm sure I've got another one. I might have already packed him, but it turns out it was the one that ended up with sawdust all over. I was just looking at him yesterday. And um, I was... Um, cutting some stuff up and you see all this sawdust everywhere and he's over there and he's got sawdust all over oh sorry mate <laughs> that's that's where he was actually I can see the... yes and so when i was over there having a look i uh discovered that i've got this one see when um the zombie apocalypse hit uh, i think i'll miss that too they're a bastard to pack these things when the zombie apocalypse hit um, it destroyed my business and just took away all 250 of my listings. Obviously, I was very pleased about that. All the work I put in, you know, thousand videos or whatever. Yeah, so that was very pleasing. Um, anyways, I was looking and I was thinking, hang on, I remember this from a way back. Remind me, someone out there to get another magnet. That one's broken. That's all I've got. Now, I figured he looks to be bronze. And, uh, yeah, that's a bit of, um, patina there. So, I'm like, no. Oh. 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 Hang on. Balance him on there. Will he balance? But will he stick? Oh, hang on. Look at that. <laughs> nice catch, birdie. Bam. Now you'll see this. This one here, he's a. Uh, he's iron, he's cast iron. Eh? Now, oh god, dude, oh my god, this. The salt must flow. Um, join the salty army, whatever you do. Alright then, now. Uh, now this bloke. Another halt, eh? Oi! He's bronze. Yeah. Oh my. Oh my God. He's a. Uh, yes. If I took him to the auction house, I'm sure I would get a pretty penny for him. But alas, my uh, my subscriber base. Very important to me. Look at that. Look at this unit here. But my, my God. So. I'm going to um, remove that somewhere before the damage there. Um, yes, now, 
where my magnets go? Oi! Come back here. So. Uh, yep, uh, remind me to get some more magnets, will you? <laughs> oh no! There That bit there. Yes. Um, because uh, you'll see, I'm not here. we have here so yeah, he looks sort of he looks bronzy but I have my doubts now yep we go get these many things in oh 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 my look at that and what do we have here this one looks cast to me okay what do we here oh Oh, hang on, let's that, if they stick that. God damn it, what am I stupid? Oh, okay, that's brass. That's cast iron. That's cast iron, and that. Oh, he's brass too. I nearly had a brain fart on the on the on metal. <laughs> Look at this. What a unit. This is way too big to go by. Freight. It's really heavy. That's a Buddhist symbol, and not what some might be thinking. Now, oh yeah, he's really heavy. But if you're crazy rich, see right now we've got these tentative um, charges for uh, if you're into Buddhisty stuff. That's uh, that's a unit originally that was used to cook uh, all kinds of things they cook and these are all the names of the people that are affiliated with the Buddhist temple that came from and then this thing here was on top of there now eventually they set it up with um with uh from what I understand it from my memory uh for a whole bunch of incense sticks yes and they they did that or someone else did after it they after i don't know maybe the temple was um i don't know i can't remember with this thing this is years ago that's that's uh that's super rare a tentative charge that would cost a lot of dough to send yeah but um if someone wanted some from the real deal if they had a their own tea house or something like that that's uh but i'm not gonna just give it away for free <laughs> super rare if you're crazy rich you talk to me two days ago i saw a tank that could hold that a rig that could hold that oh whatever <laughs> trying to remember the bloody right that's cast iron okay you go with that thing there. <sighs> Two days ago, I saw a rig that could hold that tanker. You want to get out of here? You talk to me now. That makes two. Right, I'm gonna uh, work out weights and measures. Wait, we'll wait for that, and then get on to something else. I think he's gone potty. Well, just yesterday. I did a video, video of that awesomeness over there. That's uh, that's wood. That's a real deal. That's a yucky, uh, a yucky one, a plaster, and uh, it's got a bit of a broken ear. I keep saying I'm going to get um, some proper super glue again around here to fix this ear thing here. Uh, well, not specifically for that, but just keep saying I've got to get some, and. Uh, well, I can hear the bloke that runs the show, he's, he's got his chainsaw out, so I'm going to go up there and I'm going to shoot, just hoping to avoid for a few more days, but <laughs> so I'll tell him I'll head down a, an ATM and pay the rent. Now, uh, I feel that it's just too sort of risky, with the, with this um, tentative 
uh, extra charge. Now this sort of thing would have to be packed in such a way that it would increase the weight and then figure, well, what I'll do, I'll keep him. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, he's going to sit up there with his mate Hanya and um, his other Hanya mate. And um, that's some other dude from the no plays. Um, and yeah, I, I, I just like him. Kind of looks like me. <laughs> oh, and yeah, when I've had a few too many. <laughs> Trust me, I think some of the boys would know that. Uh, now, would would agree. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go up and see see the the commander in chief and um, get get the rent paid. Oh, there you go. Turns out that's a bit of a, rep a reprieve <laughs> for a couple of days. And Friday night, I uh, I um, bought some money over from that internet to eBay banky thing. And uh, but it takes business days, so over the weekend, you, you know, doesn't count. And so I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> um, yeah, we're living on the edge. Anyways, uh, it turns out it was one of the blokes that uh, makes the. Uh, he's out often on a chainsaw too. And uh, he makes rustic furniture. He's up there and he's doing his initial cuts before he does his thingy. Anyway, uh, that's, so I walk up the top there and uh, Crowy, I'm just walking along, didn't even know that I get this rock, rock. And I turn, oh shit. And uh, it was Crowy and he just flew to here and he just did a flyby. But I don't have any food for him today. Um, Polished off pretty much everything that I had in here, anyways. You know, just a few vegetable y things. Very picky. <laughs> and there's another little bird at my at the, the ranch, and he hops on here, and a little tiny thing, and he he recognizes me. Isn't that cool? Oh, yes. Uh, well, I'm going to get back to it then. Alright, let's have a look at this these things here. So we have an awesome wood carving of the, the famous Ebisu, which is um, one of the uh, the, uh, the lucky seven gods. And we've got the bronze hote. Right, now there's something else. Um, and there's, there's the Ebisu bloke over there too, and he, so he's got his rice, he's, he's the god of like commerce or something like that. And, all have their different things. Look that up on the net. Yeah, this bloke here. I uh, can't remember if I listed that at some stages or just in the arm. There was something else I was going to list. That. Yeah, and then there was something else I was going to list. Oh, God, it's not going to be a long day again, is it? I've got stuff I've got to do. More stuff I've got to do. Alright. Uh, right. Uh, I've got to figure out a plan. Right. Here we go. It's the five o'clock song. It's the five o'clock dance. Go put on my infrared. Oh, not bad. <laughs> not bad. Still got it. That bloke's still making his furniture up there. I'm actually cleaning. Cleansings. Yeah. Um. Trying to figure out what to do with those dealies. Uh, cleaning this guy. See who's over there collecting a lot of dust and this bloke too yes Ebisu um uh, the the god of contentment um uh hang on a second no god of fishing and then 
Hold tight, son. He's the good contender. That's right. Yeah, oh, gods. Oh, my gods. Oh, I'm getting tired, man. Yeah. All right, I'll soldier on for a bit more. And, uh... Yeah, I should soldier on. I'm going to soldier on a bit more. Um... Yeah. Oh, gods. Um... Right, uh, yeah, I am getting tired, I'm starting to lose my wonky juice, feel like I'm on the wonky juice, um, right, the God of Prosperity, let's put the God of Prosperity, oh, God's us, too tired for this, starting to remember now, this bloke's Daikokuten, that's it, there we go, God of Prosperity. And then, yeah, there's all these different gods, but they have these intermingling um, skills. Yeah, that's it. Alright. Right, there we go. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm getting too tired for this. I should head back to the ranch, really, but I want to soldier on. Now, um, right, Dai Cockleton. Now, he's this bloke. So he has his hat. Alright. Now, um, now he is... Oh, there's Crowley out there. He's calling me the deity of fortune and wealth. Um, so, Dai Kokuten. Don't know if you can see that too well. This um, God of for uh, wealth, fortune, the household, agriculture, fertility, sexuality, and war. Here you go. And this thing, he shakes this thing. These things, um, sometimes you see them at the auction houses, and, and the Japanese go for them. They really go for them. Yes, now, uh, Holte-san, as you can see, he's, a, he's, um, he's the, the god of contentment. Let's see. Yes, yeah, I think uh, Crowey's out there and distracting me. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll go back with that one. Yeah, I think I should take a bit of a break you now. Oh man, that's the way I am, I bust ass and uh, go off the rails. Uh. <laughs> uh, trying to... uh. Yeah. There we go. There's, uh, there's Ebi Sus. He's the god of. Um, uh, uh, so he's in the prosperity and wealth too. Right, so Daigokuten, uh, that's that bloke, and then you've got uh, Tan by Benzai Tan, the female one, uh, Jirel Jin. Now, he's a dude, I've got one uh, besides the distinctive skull. Now, he's the dude I've got over here. That's, that's that bloke. Right, and then you've got Hope. Now, uh, he's also a god of fortune, uh, guardian of children, uh, patron of diviniers and barmen, <laughs> and um, the god of popularity. There's all kinds of different descriptions of this bloke. Um, sometimes you, and down here it says Hote's traits and virtues are contentment and magnanimous, magnanimous. And and happiness. All right. So those are his traits. Gods. Oh my gods. You you might wanna you might wanna read up on that. <laughs> yeah. My memory's shot. Right. Continue. All right then. Actually, a mate of mine just sent me a picture. He says I'm making soup. And he sends a picture. Oh god damn. Oh my gods. I wish I was uh back at the ranch right now. I'm just sending him a bit of a laugh. Oh, you're gonna love this. <laughs> a certain thing I I uh I gave to him ages ago. <laughs> he goes, ever since I've had that, I've had nothing but bad luck. Not this. That's something else. Oh, I'll actually show you. What a laugh. I was, oh dude, I just found something when I was cleaning up. As you can see, I'm cleaning up. And uh <laughs> we call this the the orb of knowledge. <laughs> the orb of everything, the orb of 
know everything, stuff like that. He's yeah, ever since I've had that. <laughs> I've had nothing but that. Like, no, dude, look what I just found. He said, you can take it back. <laughs> so it sat there for ages. Oh, I can hear it only, the picture only just uploaded to him. I've been saying for about an hour, dude, I found something great. <laughs> You're going to love it. <laughs> you can, I'm sure I could probably get it to you for free. <laughs> Anyways. All right, now, what we've got here... This is um, a light tin type of deal. Now, this is Ebisu, the war god. <laughs> He's getting back to me. Hang on. <laughs> Lol, no thanks. <laughs> Good do that one. All right, now. All right, now, I promised myself the regiment's leaving at 6 uh, p.m. Yeah, and we're getting close. Shit, what time is it? All right. I've got 40 odd minutes to get this done. Now, this is Ebisu. He's the fishing dude. He's also got a prosperity type of stuff. And that's his mate, Daikokuten. And this is, I'm getting a ping again. Um, and this bloke's Hote, the contentment dude. And that's Daikokuten over there. That's wood. That's bronze. And this is tin. I'm going to clean this up right now. And then I'll continue vacuuming that. Uh, what's he going to say here? Uh, <laughs> life has been much better without the orb. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Now, I'll just continue doing this and uh, we'll rock and roll. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking about it. You know, I, I could use some of that myself, actually. <laughs> some, um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to keep you. Um, I'm just going to keep this dude and uh, these dudes. Because I could use some prosperity myself. Alright. Now. Alright. Uh, continue on. So as I was cleaning up. I was thinking. You know what? Um, wouldn't it be cool? I could get some real good dough. For uh, sending this to a far flung land. And. Uh, then it, it, it hit me like. Hang on. What am I thinking? Uh, Sakamoto Ryoma right there. You, you might feel sad. And. Uh. Because that's his bird. Um, that's his broad. Yeah, she's not a bad looking bird, by the way, eh? So, um... <laughs> Cut. Meanwhile, back in heaven, the marshal was still rescuing Lady Vega. Rest a while. Get comfy on the cumulus. That monkey frightens me so terribly. Yes, monkey. He might still be following. No, I couldn't bear it. Surely that will arrest him. I don't know. Monkey's tough, you know, but I'll make sure you're safe, whatever happens. You're not to touch me. You're as bad as him and you smell of wine. It's a manly smell. I'll have some more then. She's only a pretty star spirit, that's all. Just because I'm not emperor. I'm as good as he is, I made the vectorplasm too. <laughs> Now's my chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Vega. How are you? Oh, no. You're beastly and you're drunk again. Oh, you're beauty. Uh, uh, Can't you see how much I want you, Vega? You're lovely and I'd give anything for one heaven, you little kids. Oh, no. No, no. Let me go. No. Oh, you... Vega. Oh, great. The battery's running out. <laughs> oh, uh, I do have another battery over there. Hold on. Okay. All right, good timing. Uh, other, yeah, as I say, I'm going to keep that bloke. <laughs> All right then. All righty then. Doing weights and measures and stuff like that. Okay, so we've got this groovy piece here. This is cast iron. And what I need to do in order to... Um, I'll have to dismantle it. So this would be the one piece here. Yeah. And then you got the body itself and then you got screws to take off the wings so all you need to put it back together is a, uh, a degree and some kind of NASA inclined um, engineering skills and maybe um, a flat headed screwdriver all right yes there you go sure go there and if that one's the same which it and here I can, I can tell you it is 
Right, so that's all you that's all you will need is a flat headed screwdriver. What I'll do is I'll just screw them out a little bit and maybe I'll screw those directly into the into the uh the wings once I take them off. And uh you'll find them there. So yeah, these are these are rad units. Not fun to pack to be honest, but uh, you you gotta make each piece separated and all that. You gotta keep them separated. <coughs> oh god, I said that the regiment's gonna leave at six. Now I've got nineteen minutes. Okay. Now we have this awesome bronze right, that's cast iron. This bloke's bronze, right? This is Holte and uh he's awesome. He does have a little nick this is just aging around here. Still got a bit of water on him from when I Oh yeah, let's clean him up. A little, he must have bonked his head when he's walking around. He's looking down anyway, he's like, you know, not using his staff and stuff. Ah, cool, huh? Isn't that rat? It's also bronze. Um, now sometimes I'll put it through like that. But you can also put it through like that. You see? I reckon that looks pretty rat. The way I figure that's designed, that's the way his arm sort of holding it down like that. So I'd say that that's probably the way it's designed. Um, yes, he's a he's a rad unit. And you can see here, what I might do is detach this piece. Same deal. Just need a flat-headed screwdriver, a small one, and maybe an engineering degree. And uh, you might be able to work that out. Yes, and he's he's rad. That's bronze. Yes. Yeah. He's a first come, first serve. They're all gonna be separate, separate listing, separate listing, separate listing. For those that um uh, not so familiar with the master language, Zig English. And um uh yeah, sea freight, you know, that's the same deal. But things are Things are getting through, and things seem to be on the mend. And therefore, there's some bad people out there that go, like, oh, hang on, <laughs> we can't have that. <laughs> yeah, anyways, I'll meet them in hell. Anyways, um, okay, so, yeah, he's, he's rattled, look at this, we even have, we even have an artist name there on here, do we not? There, down there, something cold. Something, no, is that right? No, that's. Oh, God. oh my God, this is, my card is shit. I know, like five cards, that's definitely card, you right there. Yep. Now, uh, right, we're going to move on to this wooden piece. And this is Daikokuten, and he's also one of the prosperity dudes. I get all mixed up. Japanese dudes get mixed up. Oh, which one's that? You know, one wears a certain type of hat, and another dude, he wears that kind of hat, and he wears that kind of hat. That's that kind of hat, see? And he shakes this thing around and brings prosperity. And um, this bloke is the fishing guy. That's Ebisu. And uh, that's, that's how it goes. Right. <laughs> and that's... That's just seven of the main ones. Wait till you get into all the, all the, all the other ones. Um, yeah, hello. <laughs> Come on, summer. <laughs> God. Oh, God. Oh, attack me. <laughs> there's too many of them. Yeah, yeah there's Jizzle somewhere over there. There you go, mate. All right. Now, back to it. Uh, I said I wasn't going to waste any more time because I've got to go and it's Nikki Ren over there by the way and that's another jizz or some of that 1700s that, that stuff right there getting back to it <laughs> oh maybe I could try to sell the um that uh, awesome I call that the diarrhea art piece so if you you know you've, you've got a billion dollars to spare you know you can or either you can Give me a billion dollars or maybe, say, a, a B-2 bomber, I'd, I'd be willing to sort of negotiate. Now, Daikoku 10. Yeah, he's wood. And uh, I weighed him, and uh, as you can see under here, someone's put some kind of scratchy-watchies down here. here uh, 
just going to combine the sign. Um, and uh, the prosperity contours, these are bales of rice. Yeah, and uh, there's uh, bales of rice there too, see? And so that's the concept of, you know, back in the day, rice was the, the, the main currency. Yes. So this bloke, it's his sack of, um, like, treasures that he brings along. He's a good unit. Uh, yeah, well, there you go. Well, I reckon that should be about it for, for today. Yeah, um, that bird there, um, I'm not going to try to take her away from that samurai bloke over there because he might grab one of those things and um, help me to have a bad day <laughs> and get some of his mates with some of those things and get some of those things behind there and, and uh, yeah, <laughs> and uh, yeah, great content of Burrabugio, you dickhead. There's that other big flashy thing in the sky. He's all big and round. Yeah, he's back. I saw him last night too. Well, here we go. We're on a highway to hell. Highway to hell. Yeah, I realise that since it's a Sunday night, um, the traffic's going to be horrendous a bit later on on the road under us. Never. Well, us as in you and I. <laughs> and uh, no one else is watching this shit. <laughs> um, yeah, me and my split personality. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I just realised it's, it's January the 16th here. Whatever it is in your wacky doodle land, I don't know. And uh, I just remember that a demigod was brought into this world on a January the 17th. And the expectation that he would fix this world. Yes, that was what was expected. I think it's fair to say that so far I have failed. Yes, but there's there's still there's still hope. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I have um, for for this um, commemorative day <laughs> purchased for thyself um, a lotto ticket. Yes. So there is hope. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> it's like a one in a million, trillion, gazillion, bazillion, jillions chance. So don't lose hope. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Alright, now. Um, crazy hungry. And um, started to lose more of the plot back there than uh, the usual plot. <laughs> so, um, now yeah, the big flashy thing's still in the sky, so there is some hope. Alright, and um, I will continue on the task that was expected of me. Yes. Elemental forces caused the egg to hatch. From it then came a stone monkey. The nature of monkey was irrepressible. 